So I was at many sites today and they were giving me the same exact definition for feminism. So the claim was that feminism is an ideology to which women can achieve equality. But is it really the case? It turns out that this so-called equality achieving ideology by the name of feminism is more sinister than that. Well, if you don't believe me, take a look at these sayings by some of the feminists. From these two sayings, it's evident that feminists hate God. And nowadays, you know, witchcraft is a kind of famous phenomenon among music celebrities. So here are some celebrities that might be involved in witchcraft. Here are some pictures, take a look at them. Few years ago, a rapper by the name of Azalea Banks said, and I quote, I am really a witch, end quote. So she went on further by saying that, I quote, I wonder if most of the black American Christians in the U.S. know why they are Christian. I wonder if they even consider for a second that before their ancestors came to the Americas that they may have believed in something else. She also added, but really it's all about magic. The most magical people are the ones who have to deal with oppression because the non-magical the non-magical are jealous. That's why Jews and blacks have been persecuted over and over again throughout history because they have the most magic. All I'm trying to say is that black people are naturally born seers, diviners, witches and wizards. We have real supernatural powers and the sooner we all learn to cultivate them and access them, the sooner we can fix, uh, we can really fix. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Anyways. All right. So one of the famous rappers even actually like publicly stated that she is involved in witchcraft.
Well, one of the things they told me was that um, he brought, we were, was at the house one night, and uh, we were talking, he would talk, and he started laughing. He said, Aaron, what do you think women's liberation was about? And uh, I said, I, I had pretty conventional thinking about it at that point. I said, I think it's about women having the right to work, getting equal pay with men, just like they won the right to vote, you know? And he started to laugh. He said, you're an idiot. And I said, why am I an idiot? He said, you want, let me tell you what that was about. We, the Rockefellers, funded that. We funded Women's Lib, you know? And we're the ones who got all over the newspapers and television, the Rockefeller Foundation. He says, and you want to know why? He said, there were two primary reasons. And they were, one reason was, we couldn't tax half the population before Women's Lib. And the second reason was, now we get the kids in school at an early age. We can indoctrinate the kids how to think. So it breaks up their family. The, the kids start looking at the state as the family, as the school, as the officials, as their family, not as the parents teaching them. And so those are the two prim the primary reasons for women's love, which, which I thought up to that point was a noble thing. You know, when I saw their intentions behind it, where they were coming from when they created it, the thought of it, I saw, I saw the evil behind what I thought was a noble adventure. Uh, yeah. Aaron, did you know that Gloria Steinem, in one of her own books, now admits the CIA funded Miss Magazine? No, I had no idea about that. No, I never heard that. Yeah, we're gonna the CIA funded Miss Magazine? Funded Miss Magazine with the stated goal of taxing women and breaking up the family. No kidding. I never heard that. Well, Nick told me. I mean, I mean, I know it, but not because I know the CIA was involved in it. Well, she, Gloria Steinem was proud of it. Oh, the CIA wanted to help me help women. No and, kidding. So they funded it. Yeah, and, and of course it's divide and conquer. Right. And, and of course. what they do is they focus in obviously on real problems. Women were getting shafted in many ways, but the elite didn't wasn't planning to help them. They were planning to really shaft them and take men away from them. Look at what they did with black families. You only had about ten percent of legitimacy fifty years ago. Uh, in black communities, and now it's over 90%. And look at welfare. You were going to give you some money, but you can't have a man in the house. Right. And so that was further to degrade the family, yeah. totally destroyed, uh, and, and, and now illegitimacy is over 50% in the general population. Right. Well, see, the whole thing is, is these people control the money, so they make all the rules, you understand? And, and they put whatever rules they want into effect. And the truth is America has really become a socialist, communist country. And nobody, everybody says it's a capitalist country. It's not a capitalist country. You know, how can it be capitalistic when you have a central bank? <laughs> That's the first, you can't, it can't be. You know, the it's money. It's a planned economy. It's a planned economy. It's, it's, it's a phony. If they want to create prosperity, they just print dollars. They just make dollars or put digits into the economy. And, they, and then now you have prosperity. You don't have real prosperity. You don't have real manufacturing. You just have, you just have money being injected in. It's an infusion of credit. Which only being, makes the government go into more debt. So guys, we reached the end of our today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please uh, subscribe and also share this with your friends and help me to make my platform bigger than this. So until the next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.